What's going on YouTube? Your boy Brandon back with a quick video. First things first, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Help us get to a thousand subscribers, man. We are almost there, man. A giveaway at a thousand subscribers, man. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, man. Both buttons are free, man, so don't be stingy with it. Anyway, getting right into the video, man. I'm gonna make this short and quick. Blood versus pedigree. When choosing a stud or choosing a female, it doesn't matter. Blood versus pedigree. It's the same thing. I'm gonna get a lot of flack about a uh, blood isn't a pedigree. Yeah, it is, man. It's the same thing. If you look at it like this, I view the pedigree, the pedigree is the ingredients. It's the ingredients that make up the blood. So in turn, it's the same thing. Like I get that you can look at different aspects of it as far as looking at the, the stud dog itself, what it looks like. Yeah, okay. The thing is, what it looks like is based on what's in the blood, the pedigree. So when people try to say, you know, those memes that go around, when people say, oh, you put two skinny dogs together, you're not gonna get a thick dog, or if you do this and you do that, you, you won't get this, that's, that's false. That's false. I've seen two thick boned up dogs, low, short, compact, have skinny dogs. I've seen skinny dogs make thick boned up dogs. It's, it's all dependent on genetics and what's in the blood, what gets passed along. Everything that gets passed along isn't from the parents. It could be from the grandparents. So for different ingredients, it's, it, so that whole thing is false. I'm, I mean, you, I'm gonna have people in the comments trying to fight me, but it's true. It's the same thing in humans. You can have two skinny parents, short and skinny, that have a, a big and tall kid. It's all about what gets passed along, what, what genes get passed along. And it's also about nutrition. Nutrition plays a big factor. People don't realize this. Nutrition plays a big factor in how a dog looks early on. Like you may, yeah, you can't make a skinny dog <laughs> get, like have thick bone. Like I understand that, but nutrition still plays a factor early on during pregnancy and after whelping plays a big factor people don't realize this but that's my take on long story short that's my take on blood versus pedigree it's the same thing you can look at the pedigree as far as what you might get what traits could be passed along that's where i look at pedigree but pedigree makes the blood the pedigree is the ingredients to the blood of what, what what dog you're looking at today, that's what it is. That's all I got for y'all today, man. Like I said, man, smash that subscribe button. Help us get to 1K, it's free. If you got something, if you got some smoke, as always, put it in the comments because I like the debate, I'm all for it. Live podcast coming soon, man. Make sure you subscribe and turn your notification bell on so when I do go live on the podcast, I can invite people on and we can and we can uh we can go at it, man. I want all the smoke. I'm just playing, I don't want no smoke, I don't want no beef, man. I'm I am i am not like that. I'm just talking, but hey man, everybody stay blessed, stay safe out there, everybody have a happy fourth. Till next time.